Hello, beautiful Leo. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be your how do they feel about me spread. Or you. Should I say you? How do they feel about you spread, Leo? Whomever you have on your mind. It can be anyone. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo, and the person that you're thinking of. July 15th through July 31st, 2019. We're going to see how this person thinks what they're going to be doing, and action they're going to be taking towards you. Leo, please like, share, subscribe, you guys. Leave your comments. You need a private reading? It's all below in the comment section. You don't have to email me. You can just go right to the website and book. All right. Also, I am on Instagram if you want to follow me over there. Love you guys very hard. I'm hoping for good messages for you. Okay, so the person that Leo is thinking about. How does this person feel about Leo? 15th through the 31st of July. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libran. All right, let's see what's up for Leo. What is uh, coming in for Leo, please? July 15th through July 31st, 2019. Whomever they're thinking about. How does this person feel about Leo and how will they be moving towards Leo? The 15th through the 31st, 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. What's up for Leo? Sometimes, sometimes I say bad words. Those of you who are new to my channel, if you don't like it, hard left. Towards Sesame Street for Tara, right? All right, let's check it out, Leo, and see what's up with you and your person. All right, what's their story right now? <laughs> I saw this while I was shopping. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Libran. Their story right now is justice in reverse. What's on their mind when it comes to you? The Knight of Swords in reverse. More Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. How does this person feel deep down? The Five of Wands. How are they walking their talk right now, Leo? The Four of Cups in reverse. What's affecting this Four of Cups? What's going on in their environment for that Four of Cups? The King of Wands. Hi, Leo. How you doing? Thanks for showing up. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. This could certainly be you guys. King of Wands is a Leo. Uh, how are they going to be moving towards you throughout the month of July? The Three of Wands. A lot of fire, which makes sense. All right, you're a fire sign. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck? Temperance, Page of Wands in reverse. All right, some of you are de definitely dealing with the Sagittarius as well. Keep in mind, you could have that in your birth chart as well. All right, we've got this fire sign here. Again, this is external to your person, which tells me it's probably you. But it's the energy of taking action, making things happen. And then we have Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius, Major Arcana. So one, two, two Major Arcana here. All right. Let me look at this for a big fat second, you guys. I feel like the person that you're dealing with um, is going through um, either a separation, a divorce, a breakup, something like that. It's either with you or with somebody else. But their current story right now is justice in reverse. Maybe having some legal issues, Libra and energy. And on their mind when it comes to you, the Knight of Swords in reverse, they're just like, Err! They don't want to act erratically. The Knight of Swords for me in reverse is always kind of like pulling back on the reins. No drama, you know, don't want none, won't be none kind of shit. You know what I mean? It's kind, it's not acting on your impulses. All right, because in their emotions, how do they feel about you? The Five of Wands in reverse. Five is challenges, strife, changes. But when it's in reverse, this is a clearing of the air or walking away from conflict. This person's putting some type of end to the drama. Because how they're walking around right now is the Four of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. They're missing an opportunity. It's almost like the one that got away. A missed, they either feel they've missed an opportunity with you or you missed an opportunity with them. King of Wands, Aka Leo is looking right at this Four of Wands in reverse. This missed opportunity as, as a result of the King of Wands. So it could certainly be you guys. King of Wands in their environment is in the upright, though, wanting to take action in some way. How they're going to be moving towards you for the rest of July is the Three of Wands. More fire, manifesting, expediting, online communication, picking a direction, making it happen, waiting. There's some waiting energy going. It's weird because some of you guys are dealing with a Cancerian. Cancers, um, last night, their reading was very similar to this. Those of you that are in separation from someone, you're dealing with somebody who's going through a breakup or a divorce. What the fuck? I swear this is just like Cancers uh, reading last night. 
If you're with this person right now, you guys, maybe there's been an imbalance or an injustice in some way, and they want to put an end to that. Because your overall energy with temperance, so sign of Sagittarius, this is bringing harmony and balance back to a situation. Patience as well. Reconciling the differences. Compromise. And then we have waiting here too for your ships to come in. Really badass energy. It's pretty interesting. All right, let's see what's up. I'm going to clarify this bad bitch of a reading. All right, what's up for Leo and their person? Throughout the rest of July, the 15th, we'll say the 15th through the 31st for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is up for Leo and the person that they're thinking about? How does this person feel about Leo? What's on their mind? What are they thinking? What are they feeling for Leo? How will they be moving towards Leo? What's going on in their environment? And what action are they going to take towards Leo? July 15th through the 31st, 2019. Sorry, that shuffles loud, you guys. These cards are really stiff. I said stiff. Um, yeah, they are. And so they're kind of difficult to shuffle, but kind of a newer deck. What can I say? All right, Leo, what's up for you guys and your person? All right, let's cut her up and chat about her. Cutting and chatting. Let's clarify this reading for you Leo and see what's up all right overall energy with temperance why is temperance the overall energy here between Leo and their person sign of Sagittarius a lot of Sag energy here why is temperance here please what is it what is it now the eight of swords yeah because somebody's releasing from something I'm telling you a lot of you are dealing with the Cancerian okay the overall energy is compromise it's being patient waiting reconciling healing because somebody's re releasing from something eight of swords in reverse libra gemini aquarius energy what's this eight of swords in reverse about why is this here clarify this eight of swords in reverse for leo yeah the ace of wands hi take my wand i mean can it be any more clear a brand new beginning with a lot of passion and fire all right so somebody's getting out of something so that they can start a new beginning here all right, this person right now, their story or what they're telling you is justice in reverse, sign of Libra. Why is justice here? Why is it here? Well, hi, Queen of Wands. How you doing? Why don't you just say hi to your King of Wands? Okay, so now we have a divine partnership here. Okay, fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. All right, and the King of Wands is looking right over here at this Queen of Wands. For some of you... I'm not really feeling this is your story, but I got to throw it out there. The current situation is right now you're divorcing from somebody, but the queen and the king are in the upright. So that tells me that there's a union. <clears throat> For others of you, this person is leaving something behind. They were either given an, an unfair treatment or there was an imbalance in their situation. It could be with another fire sign, but also this Queen of Wands is taking action. They're getting out of something now and taking action towards you. Why is this Queen of Wands? Because that's you, Leo. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, death in reverse, Scorpio energy. Going back to something, still, still holding on to something that's died. But the uh, death card in reverse doesn't always have to be, oh, clinging, not letting somebody die. It can also talk about going back to a past situation. There's a brand new beginning here. And somebody's leaving something else behind. Now, on their mind is the Knight of Swords in reverse. They're just done with the drama and the arguing and the impulsive behavior. Why is this here? Yeah, the world. Talk to me, spirit. I mean, I don't know. I did, I did just spray Florida water. I mean, hell. New cycles. They're ending something. And they're starting something again. The world is all about learning lessons. It's also soulmate energy. All right, how they feel about you deep down is the five of wands in reverse. This person's getting out of something and coming towards you. Why is this five of wands here in reverse? The two of pentacles, okay? What do I do? Weighing up my options on a practical level. Two is about decisions and partnerships. They're trying to regain balance. How they feel about you deep down is they want to resolve something, clear the air in some way, let go of conflict, um, and they're juggling how to do that right now. I don't feel like this is juggling people. Um, I think that this is more about making a decision. Why is this two of pentacles here? What is it? Yeah, lovers in reverse, Gemini energy, because they're getting out of something. They're also a little bit indecisive about how to come forward as well with lovers in uh, reverse, Gemini energy. But they're getting out of something. So, because how they're walking their talk right now is the four of cups in reverse, a missed opportunity. Why is this here? Why is this four of cups in reverse? Why is this here? 
tell me now. And we have the Hierophant, yes, Taurus energy. This person's getting out of a marriage or a commitment. Again, take it how it resonates. It could be they're getting out of it with you, but I'm not really feeling it. I'm feeling they're getting out of something else. Um, in their environment, so external influences is the King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. This could certainly be you. King of Wands. Fire energy. So this is external to them. This is what's affecting this, a missed opportunity within a, a marriage or a relationship. What's this King of Wands? Clarify the King of Wands. What's this King of Wands? The Five of Wands. See, there's competition, and you guys know that. I feel like that this is you guys here, male or female. You're a little bit conflicted too because there's been competition in the past or some bantering, bickering. What's this Five of Wands? Why is this here? And the Knight of Wands in reverse. Again, Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius Leo Aries energy. All right. Something that's been very fickle in and out because I think that, that somebody you're involved with was involved with somebody else, but they're getting out of that. This person's walking around right now with the Hierophant. Why is this Hierophant here, please? Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. They're rushing out of this uh, commitment marriage. They're leaving. That's what that Knight of Swords does quickly. All right, so how they're going to be moving towards you, July 15th through the 31st, Leo, is the Three of Wands. There's your fire energy. Why is this Three of Wands here? Why are they going to be bringing the Three of Wands towards Leo? Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Fucking beautiful, badass reading. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. In this particular deck, her cup's open. In the traditional right away, it's closed. Highly intuitive. There's a lot of emotion there and a lot of love, okay? I feel like that's more y'all's energy, but that's what they're bringing. The Three of Wands, they're waiting, okay, to resolve some of this stuff. You guys are a little bit leery, I think, because there has been some shit in the, in the past um, with somebody that was in and out. You're not even really sure if this person's going to be more in and out, but they're bringing this Three of Wands with the Queen of Cups, emotion, nurturance as well, love, you know, it's nice, manifesting this shit, why is this uh, queen of cups in the outcome, what's this queen of cups in the outcome, what do we have, the four of cups in reverse, so a missed opportunity here brings the queen of cups to you guys, energy, okay, I don't feel like that four of cups, some of you may decide to pass this up though, because there has been um, some conflict, strife in the past, but they're coming to you here to manifest, one more card on the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Some of you guys are going to decide to leave this person out because there was like third energy in the past or some shit. But I'm telling you, they're waiting to get through some shit and it looks like they're going to, okay, and then come towards you. You guys, I really feel like that that's you. King of Wands, energy, Leo. You guys are watching all of this take place. And this King of Wands is kind of like, hmm, really? You're going to miss the opportunity? We'll see. And then here comes this person rushing in. Okay, but for some reason, some of you guys are thinking about just passing this up with the Five of Pentacles, leaving them out in the cold. Why is the Ace of Wands here for the overall energy? What, yeah, the Six of Cups, the past coming back, y'all. I'm telling you, it is retrograde. And they've got a big-ass wand to bring. All right, I'm just saying. Six of Cups, the past soulmate shit type energy. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.